I've been here for about seven years in Thailand. I've done my bachelor here and now just finished the master's in social innovation sustainability in cohort two. So I did my, my bachelor as well at, uh, at Tamasat. My, my bachelor was in social policy and development. So the, the content of the MA was basically just like deepening and advancing my, my knowledge in the same field. So it was quite a continuum of, of study. Also, I just really wanted to do more, uh, more research, more focus on research and uh, do by choosing the research track that the program here allowed me to do that. So I would say that uh, mo most basically it's uh, like a very interdisciplinary program where you just Lord to touch on a different uh, social sciences with a strong focus on sustainability, uh, mostly along the lines of the Sustainable Development Goals, and we can contribute to, to that path with various initiatives. Um, very favorable, I had, I had very good experience uh, during the, the program, so I, I basically mostly had my classes were mostly uh, concentrated in the first semester and that was, was a really great, great environment. So most, the, all the students were really interested in what we were studying. Uh, the lectures were, were engaging. Uh, what I think was a highlight probably we got to engage with a lot of people that had actual experience in the field. So from international organizations or um, academics and so on that have been working not just not just theoretically, but have hands-on experience with uh, sustainability issues, and that was really interesting. So my thesis was about uh, platform companies, more specifically uh, delivery drivers in, in Bangkok. And my, my main focus was how the labor relations between the, the, the riders and the platform is different from other labor relations. Um, because these riders are not fully employed, but they are freelancers, so they do not get all the benefits from the platforms other workers get. Um, however, the platforms do still exert control over their working days and their labor process. So my question was, how do these riders form identities and how do they talk about their working conditions and their relations to the platform online? When I started, there was a big protest of riders and um, that was kind of, so why do they protest? What, what is wrong there? What is going on? How do they even get to protest and so on? And then just overall, I think I'm, I've always been interested in labor relations and to look what digital technology can do to change or what, how digital technology changes them was, was quite fascinating. So I was observing riders on on Facebook, in Facebook groups and see how they interact with each other and whether they, they identify themselves as freelancers, as uh, own individual autonomous entrepreneurs or whether they identify as workers and kind of rebel against this control from the platforms. And what my, my findings was actually that there you can find both on these, platform, on these online platforms such as Facebook, which is that some writers, they really love that kind of free individual autonomous working whereas some challenge this on the grounds that uh, they should be workers they should get social protection and so on so there's kind of a uh, tension between these two identities that are formed in these uh, facebook groups if you are interested in sustainability and working maybe in, in development field especially here in the region is definitely uh, a program that is worth it for you to uh, develop yourself, to, to network and uh, advance in your career.